Hi, I'm Jamie Milkey, Product Manager of Safety and Compliance. With the ELD mandate now in effect, we wanted to introduce you to our fully compliant ELD e-driver logs and how it can help you and your drivers stay safe and efficient on the roads. One of the biggest benefits of e-driver logs is how straightforward it is to use, both for drivers and back office personnel. Let's walk through some of the more common features of e-driver logs, both for drivers in cab and safety personnel in the back office. One of the most frequently viewed screens from our e-driver logs is the driver overview screen. This main landing screen shows the driver's name, current status, and gain time at, all displayed in the upper left-hand corner. This driver overview screen also shows available drive time with a color-coded gauge. The green gauge will turn yellow and then red as a driver's time runs out. Drivers can also view their driver's logs in a grid format. This grid view displays the driver's name, log date, as well as total time in each duty status. When a user clicks the event icon in the lower right-hand corner, he or she can see a list view of events. Some of these events include duty status changes, remarks and annotations, exemptions claimed by the driver, edits and requested changes, and malfunctions and data diagnostic events. The user can also click on the details icon in the lower right hand corner to see specific log details, including log date, time, time zone, name, DOT number, main office address, home terminal, driver's name, ID, license number, and state co-drivers, and ELD provider. One of the biggest changes that comes with the ELD mandate is that drivers now own their logs. The back office can propose a change to a driver's log, and the driver needs to review and accept or reject this proposal. If an office user proposes an edit to a driver's log, they can accept or reject it from the events view of their log on the device. Tap the event, then tap the accept button to accept the proposed change, or the reject button to reject it. If accepted, a driver's availability will be recalculated accordingly and the driver must recertify his or her log. PeopleNet's eDriver logs also allow drivers to transfer their log information electronically to enforcement. A driver can click the Transmit ELD Data File icon and eDriver logs will share the file with enforcement via the telematics methods of web services or email. The benefits of the e-driver logs don't just apply to drivers. Back office personnel have access to a wide range of tools to give them the information they need to help ensure safety and compliance throughout their fleet. One of the more common screens for back office users is the driver availability screen. This screen displays all drivers in a specific terminal and their current duty status and available hours. Users are also able to easily select individual drivers for review. When a user selects a specific driver, they can view the driver's daily log. This will display standard log details including terminal, motor carrier, and DOT number. In addition, this screen will display new ELD mandate specific data points such as driver's license number, issuing state, the ELD provider, and ELD identifier. Another feature of eDriver logs is its robust reporting capabilities. Back office users can take advantage of several reporting options such as the availability reports, violation reports, and exception reports. Users are also able to print out logs for an individual or group of drivers from a specific date range. The ELD mandate also features some new driving categories and eDriver logs can accommodate these should your fleet choose to use them. One of these categories is yard moves. Yard moves relate to any instance where a driver or user moves a vehicle in a yard. Yard moves are considered on duty, not drive time. Drivers must manually select and unselect the yard moves category on the ELD for it properly to record the drive time as on duty, not drive time. E-driver logs can also allow for the configuration of personal use or conveyance time in a driver's profile. Personal conveyance time applies to a driver that has access to use a vehicle for personal use. This time is logged as off-duty, not drive time. Both yard moves and personal conveyance time will be displayed in distinct coloring on the grid view of a driver's log. PeopleNet eDriver Logs is built for users just like you and designed to help ensure you remain compliant with the ELD mandate and safe on the road.